Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mr. Jason here again for another video. This is the second part to my packing for the move video. Um, today's the... I'm losing track of my days. Today is the 11th of December and we are officially moving things from this place to the new place on the 17th, which is Tuesday of next week. So basically freestyle on this video. I'm gonna be walking around the house, doing some packing and just showing you some more of my collection while I pack. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, I'm gonna start putting some stuff in boxes. I got things everywhere, like I've stated multiple times in my videos, probably. Uh, let's see, some stuff in drawers, some clothes in there, like underwear and stuff. I don't really think you guys want to see that, so that's why the camera's not focusing. Get all the games out of that. So we got Team Raider Definitive Edition, the special art book edition. I think it's an art book. Just giving you a little glimpse of my collection as I pack. We got Midway Arcade Origins for the PS3. Intentionally got that for Rampage. And here we, here we got Rampage Total Destruction for the PS2. Secret of Mana for PS4, the remake or remaster. Shadow of the Colossus Special Edition. I've still never played that game. That one's pretty rare. Don't know if I have anything in here. No, it's close. More clothes. More clothes. I think that's all the games from that area. Sorry for whatever mess you might be seeing as I'm walking through here. Alright. Here. It's gonna be a little dark in this spot of my room. It's nighttime. My lamp's on the other side of the room over there. That's where the light is. Don't follow the light. Alright, speaking of light, dead by daylight. PS4. Um, Fatal Frame 3, the Tormented for PS2. Got the Crew 2 for PS4, the Steelbook Special Edition. Uncharted 4 Special Edition. One Chenbara Chaos, the Banana Split Edition. I think that's what it was called. It's a fun game. I know most people are going to look at that case and be like, you're pervert. That's alright. It's a fun game to play, okay? Leave me alone. Uh, Resident Evil 7, the Biohazard Deluxe Edition, the VR mode. I've never played the VR mode. Mortal Kombat XL. Like I said, I'm sorry it's really dark over in this area. But it is what it is. Life is Strange Limited Edition. Can't wait for part two. I got that one already pre ordered. And we got WWE 2K16. Most of my games are for PlayStation, so. Like a broken record saying PlayStation, PlayStation. Got Men and Madame, PS4, of course. I wasn't really gonna do this until the weekend, but I gotta take care of things little by little. Um, the third birthday for PSP it was really dark. I cannot read what that said. Then I have another Winchabara game. It's got a GameStop case. Doesn't even have the original, which I hate. What do we got? World of Final Fantasy Limited Edition. Still need to fully play that game, but there's just too much to play right now. And I got Until Dawn, great game. The same people that made a man of Madan. Got some Blu-rays in here too, but I'm trying to separate my games from my Blu-rays. Uh, Naughty Bear for PS3. Lollipop Chainsaw, one of my favorite all-time games. All-time favorites. I'm never getting rid of that. And then I got A Realm Reborn for PS3. Never played that. I'm not paying the subscription monthly fee. No, I don't even have this game. I just kept the collector's, collector's edition stuff that came with it. I do gotta get this game again at some point. 
a good game, really good game. I was just at the point when that game first came out, I sold everything. Then I got the Dead or Alive 5 Collector's Edition. I don't think I have the game for this either. I believe I traded in it. I just kept the special stuff it came with. Um, we got WWE 13 Stone Cold Edition. Oh, this is when THQ still was making the games. No wonder why that game was still good. 2K, you're terrible. And we have WWE 12, People's Edition. Of course, when THQ was doing it, they did great special editions. This is weird how it's just called WWE 12. This sounds funny compared to the other games that have that come out yearly. They have two Ks in front of them or something. Um, I believe there's more games in here. We got Tomb Raider, the Rise of the Tomb Raider 20 Year Celebration, a special book edition. Oops. Any more games in here? Nope. Pull back in that drawer later. Gotta fill this box up with games. Right, uh, don't drop it on my foot, please. Got backyard wrestling for the Xbox. Um, got some SmackDown vs. Raw for the PS2. That's some classic SmackDown. Here comes the pain. That's like one of the most rare wrestling games out there. That's actually worth something. The others aren't worth anything. You're lucky if they're worth a dollar or two dollars or something. Shut your mouth. No, not you guys. Don't worry. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> PlayStation VR Worlds. I believe the rest in that stack is DVDs and stuff. Which you guys will see soon. And here I have Clock Tower 2 and Super Smash Bros. Melee. Um, I think they'll be fine in here. They're loose in there. I'm not putting anything on top of there, I don't believe so. That should be good. Let me show you. Burnout Paradise. Dead Rising Frank's Big Package. Don't really know if that's the case, nor do I want to know. Uncharted Lost Legacy. Man, if those discs break during this move, I'll be really upset. I might not leave those in there. Not 100% sure if I should. Crash Bandicoot, the Insane Trilogy. Put them in a case, they should be good. Then I'll go crazy looking for them. So can I put them in here? Let me try it this way. Should be safe, hopefully. More games in here. Yes, there is. SmackDown vs. Raw 2007, SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. Put that on the top so nothing breaks the disc that are inside. PlayStation VR demo disc. Whoa, that focus is way off. Refocus, come on. And we got WWF Raw for the Xbox. Now I'm going to the next drawer because I got all the games out of the other one. Now we have Shadow Hearts for the PS2. 
Love those games. Do have all of them. Fiddle Frame to Direct Cut Part 2. Xbox. WWE 2K17. This would be much easier if I was just throwing everything in one box, but I do kind of want to keep it sorted in a way. Got Bullet Witch for the um, Xbox 360. Shadow Hearts from the New World for PS2. Sounded like something was loose in there, but it's good. The Outlast Trinity. Obscure for the Xbox. Hunting Ground. Love this game. Yui. If you guys played that game, you know what I'm talking about. And we got No More Heroes, Heroes Paradise for the PS3. Resident Evil 5, the still book from the collector's edition. And we got Tekken 7. Smackdown vs. Raw 2008 Future in ECW Collector's Edition. Comes with a steel book and a bonus disc of some sort. We got Splatterhouse for the PS3. I love that game series, especially the good old ones from Sega Genesis, and I believe there was one for Atari or something. Smackdown vs. Raw 2011. Smackdown vs. Raw 2010. Yes, I do collect the wrestling games. So I pretty much have a lot of them from... Basically from PlayStation. Smackdown vs. Raw 2009. And this one, not many people have. Goes for good money. Futurama from PS2. Oh, I got a text, hold on. Being asked what I want from McDonald's. <laughs> and like I was saying, we have Futurama for the PS2. I don't know exactly how the last video clip cut off, just for the fact that I got a text and actually responded and I realized the video stopped. So, I don't know how that came out. So I apologize for that. Let's see what else we got in here. It's Mostly movies, which you guys will be seeing once I'm going through those, packing them. So I believe uh, that drawer is done. I was just in this drawer. What am I doing? This is where my mind's at. There's just been too much going on lately. And we got Obscure, the Aftermath. I'm gonna have to cut this video short or continue it on and when I'm packing again because my food's on the way. Smackdown, just bring it. PS2. Let's see what we got. This is a great one. WWE Crush Hour. WWE's little spin of um, Twisted Metal. Shadow of Destiny. I actually really like that one. Not sure if many of you guys watching this video will know anything about it, but it's a great game. It's a real one. Not worth much, but still rare. Oh, I love this game. Persona 5. Can't wait for Persona 5 Royal to come out. I'm probably going to be finding stuff that I could not find since I'm going through it finally. Injustice 2. from the crypt stuff. And I got Until Dawn the Rush of Blood. It's a VR game. A little spin-off kind of thing for Until Dawn. If you guys couldn't guess that from the title. 
My cat is meowing and crying. She can sense something's going on with all this packing and boxes laying ev around everywhere. I feel so bad. She probably thinks we're like abandoning her or something, but that's not the case. They're just coming with us and they're gonna have a new home to get used to. I don't know if you can vaguely hear her, but... See? What's the matter, little girl? What? What, honey? What the matter? I know. So, Daddy, what's going on? Yes, I call myself Daddy to my cats. I love them to death. Don't eat the drawer. What's the matter? I love you. You do do. Now we are over to my big bookcase shelf where it's a mixture of games and movies. So I'm just gonna grab whatever games. Sega Genesis Classics Collection for PS4. Anniversary Collection. Friday the 13th the game. I wish they could still update that. But due to the lawsuit situation going on, they can't update anything. It was a great fun game. The trait become human. It's a type of game like until dawn. Heavy rain, games like that. Let's see. We got Resident Evil Revelations. like a freaking telescope or something. I keep on looking through the camera phone on the the camera on the phone at my movies. Flash Black Classic Volume 2. These are an Atari collection. Let's see how it is. Oh wait this Deadpool Now we can move on to this other bureau. Just stickers and everything. So we got it's this Need for Speed uh, Payback Steel bookcase that came with the pre order. It doesn't have a game in it or anything. Here we got Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Still book edition. I know this game gets a lot of hate, but I enjoyed it. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I don't think there is a game, any more games in this one. Besides the controllers and stuff, the wires. Games everywhere. I guess. Dissidia, Final Fantasy. For the PlayStation Vita Persona 4. Uncharted Golden Abyss. And Silent Hill Book of Memories. Stuff I had to go through and pack. Keep organized somehow. A bunch of paper and crap. I thought I had stuff in here. I should. I know there's movies and stuff, but video games, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. No, Captain. Final Fantasy 12 the Zodiac Age still book. This is a special steel book for Tekken 7. Yep. I 
I guess that was like a pre-order bonus or some some. Some some. I don't know what that was, I just said it. Actual games as boxes for collector's editions and stuff. Look about it. Then we have WWE 2K18. I'm gonna have to maneuver around this P uh, PS2 games so I can fit the other games in here better. Come on, move one game, they all fall over. That one was okay. It's supposed to be a prequel to Until Dawn. Enjoy my Devil's Reach X poster there. Excuse me. Don't think I have any more games in here. I don't think. I don't think. That's true. I don't think. Hey, we got, we got some more. We got Kingdom Hearts, the story so far, the collection, basically all of them before part three. And then we got Kingdom Hearts 3, of course. Again, I even had this track, Tactical Rescue Assault Group. It reminded me a lot of Resident Evil from the time that it was um, released. It's not even by Capcom, so it's kind of weird that it turned out that way. We got WWE 2K19 Deluxe Edition. We got Dead or Alive Ultimate for Xbox. It has um. It has a newly designed Dead or Alive 2 and the original Dead or Alive 1. And trading cards and such. I actually got this for a good deal. And trading cards are actually in there. I would be showing you guys the stuff that's in the collector's editions usually, but I'm in the middle of packing, so I don't want to take up too much time. of these movies and TV shows, DVDs and whatever. That one, that one, check this one. And we got Grand Theft Auto 5. I have a lot more games than I thought I did. Resident Evil 2 Deluxe Edition. I cannot wait for a part 3, the remake. Oof. If you want, guys, check out my video about my thoughts and reaction to that. It has the three, um, yeah, theatrical. It has the launch trailer for that game. Man, Resident Evil 2 and 3, I actually enjoyed a lot more than part 1. Don't hate me for that, but I did. And then we got... Days Gone. Still gonna play that. I actually enjoy that game a lot. It's getting full. Got Dead or Alive 6. And we get Still May Cry 5 Deluxe Edition. 
what's it in here. Got a few video games in here. We got not that many left from this big bureau, anyways. Got Final Fantasy 15 Deluxe Edition. Sims 4 Deluxe Edition. That actually might be it for video games. What I can see anyways. Take this. Oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Nope. Not done yet. Over here. Got Life is Strange Before the Storm. Basically a prequel to Life is Strange. It was a collector's edition, of course. It's what I usually get. It depends on the game, of course. What do we got? Man, this camera doesn't stay focused when it gets too dark. We got Rick and Morty Virtual Regality. And we got Silent Hill the HD Collection, which has part 2 and part 3 for the PS3. And we got Devil May Cry HD Collection for the PS4. Clock Tower 3. I love that game series. Capcom, you love doing remakes. You're doing all these reboots for Resident Evil. You gotta get on it for uh, Dino Crisis and Clock Tower. Got Def Jam Fight for New York for PS2. We got Shadow Hearts Covenant. I told you guys I got all the Shadow Hearts that they are. I'm just missing the prequel Kodelka. Wasn't that much of a Shadow Hearts game, but it's supposed to be a prequel. We got Come on. Yeah, I got crap. My cats are being ridiculous as usual. Tekken 4, PS2. Out of the box. Let's see. Should be a couple more games over here. Silent Hill PS3 and Silent Hill Downpour for the PS3. Now I believe we go into the other one. I started packing movies that and games that I wasn't filming. And then I thought to myself, what am I doing? I'm supposed to make a video. So Started and I realized the box was too big anyway, so I figured repack. Right. So in here for games, what do we get? Not much. We have Werewolves Within. It's a virtual reality game. Like there's anything. I thought there was more games, but I guess not. There's just some stuff I recently came across and wasn't packing because I was actually playing them, but there's Zombieland, Super Monkey Ball, Need for Speed Heat. I might still keep that one out because I'm probably still going to play that. For the last few days I'm here anyways. Deadly Premonition Director's Cut. WWE 2K20. Shenmue 3. Shapeshifting Detective. Limited Run Games. They put out physical copies of digital only games. And 
Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for the Switch. That's, I believe, all the video games. <clears throat> so I'm gonna have to add movies into here, I guess. So we got The Art of Racing in the Rain, which was a great movie. It was sad. Great movie, though. Overlord. Wonder Park. Prodigy, that was a creepy, great movie. Ma, which I still have to watch. I don't think I'll be watching any movies for the rest of the time that I'm here. And I got Supernatural 14th season, Flash Complete 5th season. The complete seventh season, the crossover, the um, crisis recently started. I've been watching that. I guess it's gonna continue on in January, but taking in the season break. And Apocalypse, freaking love that movie. So for those, I could probably just leave. Uh, no, I gotta add those in here. Just for the fact that I'm probably gonna put the big collector's edition boxes in that. I'm supposed to be showing you guys as far as Gotham the third season. Persona 4 animation. Still gonna watch that. It's one of my favorite video game series. I got Legends of Tomorrow. Second season. Supergirl, second season, still book from, I think it was Best Buy. Dark Angel, first season. And Princess Bright on DVD. I didn't really care much for that movie to be honest. It was good, but didn't care that much. Got Roseanne, complete fourth season. I think I have all the Roseanne series. It's six and five. Got Rugrats season four. Killer Clowns from Outer Space FYE exclusive from Arrow Video. I know what you did last summer. Wolf Cop 2 pack. This is a great movie. I didn't see the second one yet, but I liked the first one. I Zombie third season. Adam's Family with a great slipcover. I think Walmart had that. We got Roseanne. First and second season. Roseanne the third season. Saved by the Bell in the New Class, Season 3 and 2. True Blood, first season. Holliston, Season 1, autographed by the cast. I love this show so much. It's a great horror com comedy. In the second season. Saved by the Bell of New Class Season 4. I always love those shows. And then we got Fuller House Season 1. True Blood Second Season. Target exclusive with bonus disc. True Blood Third Season. I started collecting those. I haven't watched them yet, but I will at some point. Dinosaurs first and second season, classic. Supernatural 12th season. Riverdale first season, still gonna watch that too. To me, it looks like a good show. A 
Segway season nine. Smallville ninth season. It was only six dollars. That's why I bought that. Didn't really collect those at all, but I figured six dollars. Why not? Much else in here. Skin season one. That was an MTV show. Uh, it's an, the American version. I actually really like that one. I like that a lot. We got Roseanne season seven, eight, and I think that's nine. Yeah, that's gonna be all. That's all solid's gonna fit in that box. Now, I'm trying to fit my collector's edition stuff here so we got Resident Evil 2 the remake collector's edition it's probably gonna take up the whole thing so therefore Freaks and Geeks complete series can go in here Hey Arnold, the complete series can go in here. Gotta fill it up somehow. Married with Children, the complete series can go in there. And hey, Gookie, I choose you. That's basically all I can do for that. I don't have anything else in here that's gonna fit in there. So I could throw some more movies in there, I guess. Found something, I guess. These will probably fit in. Got a Catherine the Love Is Over Deluxe Edition. And we've got WWE 2K14 The Undertaker Phenom Edition. It can fit like that. Let's just fit little things here and there and there. After, I guess. Now, once this actually focuses, it was just focused. I'm gonna start packing some more movies. That's a get another box that's gonna fit. Hello, focus! There we go. We got Vampire Diaries, sixth season. We got Grim, season five, Steelbook. Empire Diaries 4th season, Target exclusive. I guess. Oh, I grew up watching this show so much when I was younger on MTV. Hello, Zoom! It gets so dark and then it just goes out of focus. I hate this. My So Called Life, the complete series. It's like in the shape of a book, and I believe it actually has a book in it. And we got. Lost Girl Season 1, Lost Girl Season 2, oh, all over, and we got Flash Season 2, still work edition, Vampire Diary Season 5, Supposed to be the last box I packed for today. For this video, too, I should say. <laughs> then we have. Come on, focus. Sorry about this, guys. This is gonna happen like every time I go into complete darkness. I've got WWF Attitude Era Volume 2. And we got SummerSlam 2013, Resident Evil Afterlife Steelbook, then we got War Games, the most notorious matches, we got Orange is the New Black Season 3.
Puppet Master Blu-ray and a VHS type of um, collector set box. We got WrestleMania 28, Vampire Diary Season 1. Vampire Diaries 7th season. It's a book that came with the Goosebumps movie. I have to put that somewhere. But not this box. Deadpool 2. Target exclusive. It comes with a little book that's basically like how the kids' books used to be back in the days. There's a little gold bind on the side. We got SummerSlam 2012. Money in the Bank, that's probably exclusive 2015. Tables, Ladders, and Cheers 2012. No Way Out 2012. I remember when Walmart had a bunch of these in the $5 bin or something. Night of Champions 2012 and then Hell in a Cell 2012. So probably a lot of the 2012 people just didn't know. We got WrestleMania. Which one is this? It doesn't even say. 29. Extreme Rules 2012. Money in the Bank 2012. Sorry. I thought for some reason I had doubles. And I got Tales from the Crypt, fourth season and third season. Empire Diaries second season, Ninja Turtles season 5 and 6, WWF Backlash 2, or WWE Backlash 2002, and we got WrestleMania 2000, and Supernatural season 1. Gotham season four. Tales from the Crypt Keeper is the animated series, the first season. Get from Dusk Till Dawn season one. WWF Royal Rumble 2000, I want to say. And we got Rock Bottom 1998. No Way Out 2002. Walking Dead Season 6, only at Walmart with an exclusive bonus disc. Lost Girl Final Season, or Chapter, I think they call it. Then we got Shameless Season 6, it's one of my favorite shows of all time. WWF Judgment Day 2001. Hands of Cult, it's Charles Band from Full Moon Features and Roger Coleman. Basically like a documentary type thing. Then I get the Looney Tunes Platinum Collection Volume 1. Let's see, what else can fit? WWF Backlash 2001. S Club 7 Don't Stop Moving Music Video Collection. I love that band. It's supposed to be reunited soon and I'll be happy about that. It's one of their concerts, that's Club Party Live, California Dream Season 1, or 4, signed by the cast when I went to Hollywood to see them in concert. They did have a reunion, Supergirl Season 1, 
target exclusive with the graph case. WWE Attitude Ever Unreleased. Basically like the dock matches and all that. Let's see. That's all I'm gonna fit here, probably. We got Supernatural Season 11. Legends of Tomorrow Season 1. Tales from the Crypt Season 7. And uh, History of the Hardcore Championship. So that's gonna be it for that box. All right, that's gonna be the end of this video. This is my second part of my packing in for the move. And um, don't mind the background there. There's a leak in that area back there where the posters are ripped and damaged. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Please like this video. Like. Please subscribe. Check out my other videos. I do unboxings. I do vlogs just about stuff like this in my life, like move in, packing. I do video game streams, to which will be in the description down below. Please follow and subscribe to that. And just... I'll have another video up for me packing for the move, probably maybe in a couple days. Like I said, Tuesday the movers are supposed to be here to actually move us out of the house. So we're going to have everything packed by then. So um, I'm going to catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Take care.